there's some things that were meant to happen. Uh, they summoned me. They summoned me. I'm sure this is out there now. Eugene said some stuff. But they summoned me. They summoned me for, for 300. And I was like, yep, let's roll. But their side didn't want it. So I was like, well, fuck it. I'm just going to keep. Who, DDP side? Yeah, they didn't want it. Wow. But, I, I, you know, they just fought Strickland. So maybe he had a little bit of niggly injuries and stuff. But, hey, we all we all got little, you know, nigg niggles and whatnot. So, yeah. Um, but I've I've fought injured for the last how many fights. So that's why I took time off, just to let my body heal. And it has healed. And, yeah, um, I'm sure there'll be more injuries. It just happens through training. Like, what we oh, do for bro, work. I can't even imagine. So when you do look at, like, so you've had some time off and stuff. Mm -hmm. When you... Was it to like? Did you want to recalibrate what you? Because you've you've gotten to achieve your dreams, right? Yeah. And there's over something and over and over and over again. Yeah. Like I mean, it's yeah. unprecedented. You know, like you've mm -hmm. you mastered what you set out to do. Mm -hmm. So then it's interesting because now you're a master who is um, who's already achieved everything you can achieve mm -hmm. in the game. But there's still more that I want to do for myself. Right. I that's one. I, 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 I guess yeah. I'm wondering, like, how does that how do you start to separate those two? And what is that even, you know, I haven't like mastered the game yet? I'm still learning every day. Even right now, we're working again on my jab because I'm changing it up now because there's so much footage on me. People can watch the oh. smart coaches and they can kind of game plan. Like my question mark kick was fucking everyone up early on. Got to like maybe after the Robert Whitaker fight maybe the romero fight no costa fight actually costa avoided it but he he didn't fall he fell for a different kick but um so from that fight people kind of like know the question marks coming so they're all scared of it my jab was vicious it still is but i'm just bringing it back i'm tuning it up again so it's it's, it's constant evolution constant learning every time and with my grappling as well i want to show it off i do want to show it off in the cage i did a little bit in my fight with alex in new york a little bit but um, so you want to more. You yeah, want to. So I want you still to. have things you want to do. Fuck yeah. Oh wow. It's, fuck the belts and all that. It's more about highlights. Yeah. For me, I'm a highlight guy. Yeah, yeah. I know. That's what's interesting. Yeah. It's like that's what I was wondering. I was like, does he miss some I of the trash the talking and just the fucking, yeah. you know, like when it's raw, when it's honest? Yeah. Like me and Costa, it was good because I didn't like the guy. He didn't like me. Barachino is that his name? Barachina. Boha. I didn't. Barachina. Whatever. He, yeah. He's. Yeah. A, so again, like he's a guy that when I fought him, and again I had a lackluster performance against Romero because he didn't want to engage. So people were like, "Oh, fuck him!" And it was I have the most exciting title fight in history and the most boring title fight in history. I do it all. <laughs> <laughs> but um, after that fight, people were talking shit like, "Oh, this and that, right, right, right." He's a boring fighter, and it's weird. I, I see it now. They just forget. They forget, and I'm like, "Bro, I gave you so much classics." <laughs> so quick, people forget, man. Yeah, but then um, for me, when that fight came about, I didn't like him, and he reminded me of every jock I had. Oh, yeah, I remember like, he saying just, that in the He dog. was very, you know, good-looking oh, and, like, yeah. just very muscular. Conditioner. Yeah, oh, bro, the guy, and he was talking so much to everyone, and then the streets was like, he went three rounds with Romero. He went three rounds with Romero. I'm like, yeah, I went five rounds with Romero. And like, well, he didn't do shit. Fuck you. And I was like, okay, watch this, watch this. So when I fought him, I remember... I just, I was so, I was dialed in, bro. I was dialed in. I remember in. watching that. We went yeah. to, a, a, after the show, we went to a bar. I think we are in yeah. Indiana somewhere. We were in the Apex at the time. Oh, not the Apex, um, the Fight Island. That was Fight Island. And yeah, I um I took him out. I took him for, for a ride. I took, I took his lost. virginity he couldn't catch as well. Him. Nah, he didn't touch me once, apart from <laughs> in the legs. As well. I, I did. seeing that. Yeah, and he just approved 100%. Well, it's also, <laughs> in some cultures, it's more. It's dominance. It's, it's just more appropriate, too. Yeah, but I mean, like, for me. I just felt it was the most dominating thing I could do to him because he was in that position. So yeah, in Brazil, being engaged just like two guys dancing, yeah, know, or um, just dancing. high five, yeah. You know. yeah. Oh, so they'll have some high fives too. that'll last a Look long that. time. And look at the time. technique. Look at the squat on the man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's crazy, man. bro. You raw dog dude. them. It was good. <laughs> oh, 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 break it, it was a good time. I enjoyed um, it. What no did you regrets. Think of, what did you think of his uh, of his fight with Whitaker? It's a good fight. I liked it. I liked his jab in that fight. Yeah, I was like, okay, he came back. But man, that end of the first round when you when you rocked him with the wheel kick. Yeah. Woo! Did not expect that. And then again at the end of the round, so he got saved by the bell, came back, and Whitaker just just outguts him. He just outguts him. I thought it was close. Yeah, I same. thought maybe maybe Costa might have won. I felt he might have won. But then when they gave it to Whitaker, I was like, huh. Okay, well, it wasn't a robbery, but I thought Costa probably had it. Um, but yeah, he was good. He, he looked good in that fight. 
He's he wasn't the same after this. Everyone keeps telling me that you ruined that man. Really, you think that? Yeah, <laughs> I don't think after that fight he wasn't the same. He was on a run. He had this. He, I'll tell you this: you look at the fight, you look at the first round, the way he looked at me, and they look at the second round when he's like, the, the like you see his face, the demeanor changed. I love those moments. You take their soul away. You just know, like this guy knows he doesn't want to be locked in here with me. And it's like they're in a video game, but their controller's gone. Yeah. It, it, bad dream for him. Bad dream for him. So it's like, oh, yeah, I, I like that moment. Um, But yeah, I like the guy. He's funny. He's, a, I think he's an entertainer. He's, I, he's I good on he's Twitter. Uh, it, he's got a secret juice, secret juice and all that. It's um, fun. What about like, yeah, Demetrius Johnson was talking about, and we had this clip, but I, I'm sure you saw it, but he was mm -hmm. talking about that to, to beat DDP, you would need... Uh, you need to brush up on your ground game. Oh, for me? Yeah. Yeah, I got some. I got a little some. Do you prefer to fight guys where it's more like, because some people like to fight up top, like Poirier is like yeah. that. He likes to, and it's fun to watch him there, you know? And some of the fights where it's on the ground, honestly, mm. respect 100%, but they can be a little less exciting. Yeah, um, especially for the fans, because they've been there since five hours, six hours drinking, yeah. and they're just like, oh, stand the more ref. I enjoy grappling. <laughs> I enjoy I love it. Uh, but no one's been able to keep me in that position. That's the thing in how many UFC fights. And people think, oh, he's about to get exposed in this fight. It's like, actually, the only person would know, Jan. But he didn't do anything. He just used his weight. He didn't try and finish me. Yeah. He didn't really try and beat me up to the last, like, eight seconds. But, yeah, he just wanted to win the round. So he kept me and used his weight. And I wasn't really used to that at the at the mid, at the time. So um, it's a good point. Yeah, Costa yeah. couldn't catch. Yeah, a lot of the guys they can't catch you, so you can't say, "Hey, this guy doesn't like to go to the ground." It's like, well, if you can't get it's him fun. to the ground, yeah. he I'm, shouldn't lay down there and meet a guy down there. What am I going to butt scoot? And be like, "Come <laughs> on, buddy, I'm going to get you." Nah, um, I'm I'm great on the feet, so I like to keep the fight standing. But I do enjoy the clinch. I enjoy the clinch. I enjoy I enjoy the ground as well, but. In the gym, it's different than in a fight, and I'm getting more comfortable on the ground in the gym, which makes me, you know, even better in a fight. But um, yeah, just no one's been able to like take me and keep me there to see anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah that shouldn't be like, yeah, that's not a fault of yours. Mm. It's interesting because sometimes you'll Do just better. hear a, a lead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you'll hear a lead, and you'll be like, yeah, that's right. Yeah, not. Nah, I mean, fake news. <clears throat> it happens all the time. They just throw something out there, hope it sticks, and. Everyone latches onto it, and then that can just be clicks. Oh, yeah. Clicks, views, attention. That turns to money for them. Crazy shit. So Bro. while I wasn't fighting, I um, I took up other things. Like, okay, September. I feel like when you're not fighting, I feel like you're in Zelda Breath of the Wild. <laughs> I, stuff. That's what it's like, I think, from honestly, like a fan's like, perspective. Man, like, yo, not playing the game, literally. Yeah, I know. But you're in the, in the like, I can do yes. anything. Like, I'm, I've got money. I've got a passport fucking go anywhere but um for me i took up things like golf golf's my new favorite pastime in a way because i like it because it's it's soft it's it's a bit more um slow paced people say oh what about tennis or something i'm like mm -mm. something soft something that's sure because my life is chaos when i'm in the gym murderers trying to kill me all the time working out cardio strength last year i went skydiving First time? Gonna, first time. Did it in uh, Abu Dhabi. And that was dope. It was fucking sick. No was way. Who'd you go with? Other fighters or no? Nah. Uh, Devin Haney was there, actually. He did wow. it right after me. Yeah, the boxer. And then, um, yeah. Uh, Dude, the, that's crazy. It's fun. Like I can't believe you've never been. Nah. I wanted, and you only have to do it seven more times and I can go by myself. So uh, there's a that place. That's a like, bad idea. No, no. I'm going to do it. You are? <laughs> yeah. Oh, bro. <laughs> so even, okay, bro, this is me. Man. I'm already even, I've got a. A motorcycle riding lesson on Saturday, because and again, my mom's a nurse, so she's already told me nope, nope, oh, because she's seen the worst. Yeah, a lot the of the worst. organ donors are come from motorcyclists. That's what I've heard. You could do pink slips with Strickland if you guys. Nah, I'm good. Oh, does he ride? Oh, yeah, he does ride yeah. motorcycles. Nah. That would be crazy. But you, somebody would get. I'd rather hurt. fight him. Yeah, I'd rather fight him. Yeah, do what we do. The man dance. I want to yeah. do a man dance. But um, yeah. So for me, skydiving, motorcycle riding. I might get into that unless I get talked out of it. But um, yeah, something that just gets me going. That's why for me, I know when I'm done with this game, at least every few months, I need to do something that will make me feel like I'm about to die. Like something scary, something that makes me go, 
fuck, like this is this is happening. This is legit. This is real shit. I could die in this. So why is that so important? You think to people? I think it's for me. I'm an adrenaline junkie. Really? Yeah, I'm an adrenaline junkie. I, I've accepted that about myself. Um, and I think you just, I, 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 even Alex spoke about it after his Islam fight where he said, like, you know, just sitting around, like, you, you know, you need to do something. You need to do something. And I felt that. And a lot of fighters felt that. So for me, that's why I say giving me free time with what I have now can be a bad idea. But I'm glad that I'm older now, a, little, a lot wiser. Yeah, there's a composer element to you that I think is really interesting because it's like, and that's why I wonder about like, yeah, does he still love, like what does he want to do with fighting? Just because mm. lo there's just a lot of options in life. Yeah. And sometimes creativity can, you know, flow and just, you know, you can decide like, yeah. I've, you know, what else do I want to fucking, you know, be uh, an actor? Do I want to, you know? I'll act. I've already like turned down a few roles, a few high profile roles because I wanted to make sure I focus on fighting. That's the one thing I wanted to focus on was fighting. I don't ever want to get sidetracked and look yeah, at something Yeah, that's too much. Else. Yeah, because I, I know what I can focus on. And then if I do, then things can get squirrely. So I'd rather not. But um, Yeah, dude, if you were like a fighter pilot or something, yeah. that'd be so <laughs> sick. Or if you were like in a war, like in a war movie. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I wouldn't say it. No, I wouldn't say it. I'll say it, off, I'll say it after this. Okay. But, like, but yeah, um, I'm definitely going to have... You know, I already got ties in Hollywood. Like, people want to work with me, which is cool. And I do my own stunts. I mean, save, save money. money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> See, I like what you're thinking. Yeah, save money. I do my own stunts. That's you don't have to fire. get a stunt double. Um, but also, I'll have my own production company. And I will, like, maybe make some some characters, like some anime. Or just oh, have yeah. weird ideas, bro. <laughs> like, sometimes... I'm, I don't know how to write a screenplay, mm -hmm. but I'll get someone who can. I can just vomit words at them, and they can just put it in a way that's digestible for TV or Netflix or, you know, a crunchy roll or whatever. Yeah, um, Stylebender Studios. I mean, Stylebender is such a great, it's like the greatest moniker, honestly, in a lot of ways, because there's just so many, you don't even know what it is, yeah. but you know what it is. Yeah. You I know? got it from, even they just dropped the live action, uh, the Avatar series, the last airbender just dropped yesterday. Oh, yeah, I saw. In New Zealand. I've, I'm going to watch it tonight. But um, for me, I, I, when I was watching that, I, I, I love that show. I grew up on that show. So for me, I got the name because I felt in this realm, I want to master all the elements of martial arts and realize my destiny as the avatar. And I felt like I was the one. So I have, and I'm still doing it. And now, you know, the middleweight division needs me again. So I, this, this, I'm, it's all about the story you're telling the yourself. Bad signal. Yeah, exactly. Like, what story are you telling yourself? 